Hi, I'm Justin Scott, and today I'm talking to you about this Zebra Drums kit. So Shuart at Zebra Drums uh, was nice enough to send me this kit for a few months uh, just to uh, shoot some videos with it, try it out, uh, you know, and see how I like the different tuning ranges and everything. And I've just had a blast the last few months um, just playing this kit. It's just an amazing drum set and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. So this kit has some really cool features that I just want to talk about. First of all, it's a stave shell mahogany kit and Schubert at Zebra really took a ton of time figuring out how to make the best stave shells that he possibly could. Uh, he spent five years just doing research and development, lots of trial and error, figuring out just the right amount of staves to use, figuring out how to get the most strength and the best possible sound out of the shells. Stave shells uh, typically have a very large tuning range uh, because there's not a lot of tension in the shell. Whereas a ply shell typically has uh, a little bit of tension in it at all times, right? If you suddenly removed the glue from a ply shell, all the plies of wood would kind of burst out. Uh, so there's always a, a tension in the wood and uh, stave shell drums don't have that. Um, so they typically have a really nice large tuning range. But stave shells tend to be much thicker uh, and the reason they have to keep them thicker most of the time is because of strength. The only way to keep the shell strong enough to withhold all the pressure uh, from the drum heads is to make the shells really thick. So even though stave shells have a large tuning range, the thicker the shell, the higher the pitch of the drum. So Sheward really wanted to figure out a way to make a stave shell drum that could keep the low pitch, uh, find a way to make a, a strong shell that is thin enough to have a nice low pitch to it. So he finger joints all of his staves together. So instead of just being two flat pieces of wood like that glued together, everything uh, is glued together like this, kind of in a, a zigzag pattern, which adds a ton of strength to the shell, and he's able to, to thin them out a lot more than other stave shell drums. So the precision that he makes these shells with is just incredible. Each drum obviously is handmade, and it's just really incredible craftsmanship. Um, I really think these are the finest stave shell drums that you can find. Schuer designed the kit uh, to be a free floating kit so that the shells don't come in contact with anything except for the drum heads. So he developed his own free floating system uh, for the kit and he uses these SAS brackets here that are spring loaded to allow the drum to move freely and it keeps the resonance in the drums. And because of this SAS system, uh, the drums can be tuned extremely low and still have a lot of resonance to them. And then of course the, the overall tuning range is really big. You can go super low to super high with these drums. And because it's a free floating system when you tune the top head it automatically tunes the bottom head with it. So the, the top and bottom head are always in tune with each other um, and it makes tuning much easier because you don't have to worry about the bottom. You just tune the top and it tunes the whole drum. And Sheward's also created uh, a product called thread locks and if you have hoops on your drums with a oval hole for the tension rod um, these tension locks just fit right in there and they keep the tension rod from loosening when you play just an extremely useful product and each uh, tension rod on his kit and of course all the snare drums that he makes has these tension locks in it so you're when you tune your drums they never go out of uh, tune from where you where you put them it keeps all the tension locks right in place where you'd want them so if you do have an oval hole on your hoop of any drum you can use these um, and I definitely recommend trying them because they work extremely well all the hardware on the inside of the shells is nickel plated uh, which is a really nice touch. Um, obviously, it's going to add to the life of the drum and the hardware. Schuert's also created an incredible sealer for the wood um, to keep moisture out. Um, it really is a phenomenal sealer. He actually told me a story about um, someone who had a kit. I think it was in a music store, and there was some flooding in the kit. The bass drum was actually uh, underwater for, I think, a day or so. And uh, they sent the drum back to Sheward to see if he could, you know, make sure it was okay. 
and it had absolutely no damage to it. No moisture had gotten into the wood because the sealer that he created is so good. And that's really what makes Zebra Drum special. The quality of everything that Sheward makes uh, is just top notch. He, he just doesn't take any shortcuts. Everything has to be as good as it can be. They're just amazing drums. They have a huge tuning range. They're absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't recommend Zebra Drums enough. If you're looking for a, a handmade stave shell drum of any kind, whether it's a snare drum or a stave shell kit like this, I honestly don't think you can get any better quality than what you get from Zebra Drums. So what I'm going to do in this video is just show you the tuning range possibilities of this drum kit. Uh, I start with the kit tuned up really high uh, and then I'm going to bring it down. So I'm going to do a total of four different tuning ranges. Today I'm also playing my 14x8 stave shell mahogany snare that Sheward made for me and obviously it, uh, it matches this kit really well um, and so I'm tuning the snare up and down with the kit as well.
I uh, would like to thank Sheward for letting me play this kit for a few months. It's been a ton of fun. Um, it's an amazing drum set. I, I hope more and more people get to experience his drums because they really are exceptional. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I highly recommend you guys check out some Zebra drums. Uh, you won't be disappointed. They're just incredible quality.